Hi there, welcome to WP Expo. Today I will show you how you can create a custom product category page template for your WooCommerce store, and it will replace the default WooCommerce category page template. For that, I will be using the WooCommerce Builder add-on of Product X. It is the best WooCommerce builder based on Gutenberg, so that you can dynamically redesign all pages of your WooCommerce store without compromising the loading time. So without further ado, let's start creating a custom product page template. But before going into that, make sure you have the ProductX plugin installed on your site. After properly installing the ProductX plugin, go to the add-on section and make sure that the WooCommerce Builder add-on is turned on. Now go to the Builder section. Here, you can see all available options. For now, let's click on the Archive. It allows us to create templates for product categories, tags, or both at once. Here you can see two options. Either, we can start from scratch, or, start with a pre-made template. First of all, I will start with the pre-made template. Later, I will also show the process of starting from scratch. So, please watch the full video for a better understanding. To start using the pre-made template, we need to click on the Import button. Here you can see that, the template is imported to the page. It is displaying the latest products of our store, and, will be replaced with the actual products when we visit the product pages. Now, as you can see that, the category page template is ready, so you can publish it without making any changes. However, you can also customize it, if required. But before going into that, you should know that, the template is built with three blocks of product X, which are, archive title block, filter block, and, product grid one block. So, you can customize all of the blocks individually. To customize a block just click on it, and, you will see the customization options on the right side. Now, let's see how we can create a custom category page template from scratch. For that, click on the start from scratch option, instead of importing the template. Here you can see that, the template is empty. So, we have to fill it up, by using the blocks located on the left side. First of all, we need to add the archive title block. For that, just click on the plus icon, and drag and drop the archive title block to your desired position. For now, it is showing dummy text, but it will be replaced with the actual category title and description when you visit any product category pages. Then, as we want to display the filtering options on the left side, and the products on the right side, we need to use the Gutenberg column block. So, let's add a column block with a 33 by 66 ratio. Now we can add the filter block on the left side and product grid one block on the right side. Now let's see the available customization option. For the archive title block, you can change the layouts with or without product category images. Then you can change heading tags as well. There are many more customization options available, including text colors, typography, padding, and so many more. For the category filter block, we must connect it to the block that we have added to the template. As I have added the product GERD1 block, I am selecting it from the drop down. Then, we need to remove the filtering option that is not required for the category pages. If you want to know the customization option of filter block, we have a dedicated video that you can watch to learn more about it. The link will be in the description. For now, let's see the customization option for the, the product grid block. First of all, you will get some pre-made layouts of the product grid blocks. Then you can change between grid and slide view. Moreover, you can increase or decrease the number of columns and adjust the gaps between columns and rows. Furthermore, you can decide which elements should be visible and which not. And also can sort the position of them. The customization doesn't end here. You can change each of the elements of the product grid blocks separately. For example, if you want to highlight the on-sale products, just click on the Enable button. Once you enable it just click on the drop-down button, and you will see so many customization options including changing on-sale text, text position, colors and so many more. Similarly, you will get so many customization options for all of the elements. Now, let's see the customization option for product pagination. First of all, you can choose between two types of pagination, which are load more and numeric paginations. Then you can change the pagination text, position, and colors. You can also adjust the border radius, margin, and padding. 
After you are done with all customization according to your need, just click on the publish button. Once you click on the publish button, you will see the condition selection options. By default, the condition is selected for archive pages. You can keep it as it is. If you want to use the template for all archive pages, as I want to use this template only for the category pages, I am going to change the condition from all archive to product category. You can also create different templates for specific product categories by typing the category name here. After selecting your desired condition, click on the save button. Now can go to the front end and see how it looks. Here you can see that the category pages are displaying the products exactly how we have designed the template. So that's all from today's video. You can learn more about creating and customization the WooCommerce product category page template from the blog post. The link will be in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video.